In this video, we will see how we can construct a full binary tree from a given pre-order and post-order traversal. Before we check that, let's first understand why can't we construct a general binary tree from a given pre-order and post-order traversal. So, so far we have seen that we can construct a general binary tree from in-order and pre-order, from in-order and post-order, and from in order and level order. But when pre order and post order are given, we cannot construct a general binary tree. Let's take these three examples. So if we write the pre order for this, it is ABCD and post order is DCBA. For the second tree, pre order is also ABCD and post order is DCBA. So for both these trees, pre and post order is same. So we cannot construct a unique general binary tree if we are given only pre-order and post-order. If we check the in-order, so in-order for the first tree is DCBA and in-order for the second tree is, so if we are given in-order and any other traversal, we can construct a unique general binary tree. But in this case, we are given only pre-order and post-order. When only pre-order and post-order is given, we can construct a unique full binary tree. So full binary tree is that tree in which every node has either zero child or two child. So if this property is satisfied, then we can construct a unique full binary tree from a given pre-order and post-order traversal. Now let's see how we can do that. So the goal is given these two traversals, pre-order and post-order, we have to construct a full binary tree. So here you can see every node has either two child or zero child. So this is a full binary tree. We know that pre-order is root, left and right and post-order is left, right and root. So the last node in the post-order is the root of the tree and the first node in the pre-order is also the root node. So here is the root node. We also know that the tree is a full binary tree. So every node has either zero child or two child. So here the number of nodes are greater than one. So the node which is next of A is the left child of A. So D is the left child. So if we find D in the post order traversal, we can see that all the nodes which are after D will be the right child of A and all the nodes before these will be the left child of A. So if we draw this, A is the root node and the left is H, L and D and the right is P, C and Z. Now we have to do this for each of the nodes. Now if we pick D, so now D is the left child of A and if we find in the post order traversal, H and L are the left and right child of D. And if we check the next node of D, so H is the left child. So we can further break this, H is the left child and L is the right child. Similarly, we can break this PCZ also and we'll obtain this tree. So based on this property, we'll see how we can recursively create this full binary tree from a given pre-order and post-order traversal. Now let's see the pseudocode. So we are given these two traversals, pre-order and post-order, and we have to construct a full binary tree. First step is we create a variable pre-index which we initialize with zero. So this will be used to iterate the pre-order array. Then we have this function construct which takes two parameters post start and post end. So post start and post end are the indices for the post order traversal. So the first call to this construct function will be for the parameters 0 and 6. So 0 is the starting index and 6 is the last index. So the first call is to construct 0 comma 6. We check if start is greater than end and then we create a new tree node of value 0th index of the pre order array. So 0th index is A so here we are creating the root node. So node points to A and then we increment the pre-index. So pre-index becomes 1. We check if start is equal to end and then we search first index of the pre-order array which is D in the post-order traversal. So here we are finding the child of A. So child of A is D. So we have to find D in the post-order traversal. So index of D is 2. So post index is 2. And now for the left of A, we're calling this construct function with the parameters 0 and 2. So from construct 0, 6, we call construct 0, 2. 
here the node was a and the post index was 2 so now the call is to the construct 0 comma 2 so post start is 0 and post end is 2 now we create a new tree node with the first index of the pre-order array so first index is d so we create a node d we increment the pre-index so it becomes 2 we check a start is equal to end and now we search the second index of the pre-order in post order traversal so second index of the pre-order is h so we have to find h in the post order traversal index of h is 0 so post index becomes 0 and now for the left of d we have to call this construct function with the parameters 0 and 0 so from here we'll call construct 0 comma 0 here the node was d and the post index was 0 and now the call for construct is for the parameters 0 comma 0 now we create a new tree node with the second index of the pre-order array the second index is h so we create a new tree node with the value h we increment the pre-index so it becomes 3 we check a start is equal to end we return the node so this check is for the leaf nodes here the node value was h so this function call construct 0 comma 0 returns h so the call was made for d and it returned h so left of d becomes h so we will link this and now we'll call for the right of d this construct function with the parameters 1 comma 1 so from here we'll call construct 1 comma 1 so now the post start is 1 and post end is also 1 we create a new tree node with the third index of the pre-order array so third index is l so we create a new tree node with the value l we increment the pre-index so it becomes 4 and if start is equal to end so both are equal to 1 we return node l so this function call construct 1 comma 1 returns l so this call was made for the right of d so right of d returned l so we will link this and now the function call for d terminates so the control goes back to construct 0 comma 6 for a because we are returning the node here so left of a becomes d so we will link this and now for the right of a we will call this construct function so at a the post index was 2 so the first parameter will be 3 and the last parameter will be 5 so 6 minus 1 is 5 so from here we are calling this construct function with the parameters 3 comma 5 so now post start is 3 and post end is 5 we create a new tree node with the fourth index of the pre-order array so fourth index is z so we create a new tree node with the value z then we increment the pre-index so it becomes 5 we check if start is equal to end and then we search the fifth index of the pre-order array which is p in the post order traversal so index of p in the post order is 3 so post index becomes 3 and now for the left of z we call this construct function with the parameters 3 comma 3 so from here we are calling construct 3 comma 3 so now post start is 3 and end is also 3 we create a new tree node with the fifth index of the pre-order array fifth index is p so we create a new tree node with the value p we increment the pre-index so it becomes 6 we check if start is equal to end we return the value of p so this function call returns p so the call was made for z so left of z returned p so we will link this and now for the right of z we have to call this construct function so post index was 3 at z so the first parameter is 4 and the second parameter is also 4 so from here we call this construct function with the parameters 4 comma 4 so now start is 4 and end is also 4 we create a new tree node with the sixth index of the pre-order array which is c so we create a node with the value c we increment the pre-index so it becomes 7 and then we check if start is equal to end so start and end both are at 4 
so we return the node c so this function call returns c so this call was made for the right of z so right of z becomes c so we will link this and now the function call for z ends so the control goes back to construct 0 comma 6 for a so right of a becomes z so we will link this and now the recursion terminates and we return the root node which is a so this is the full binary tree that we obtain from the given pre-order and post-order traversal now if we look at the time complexity time complexity of this program is order of n square it is because of this search step because at every call to this construct function we are searching this post order traversal array for the values of pre order pre index so this search takes order of n time which makes the entire algorithm time to be order of n square now we can optimize this to reduce the time complexity let's see what is the optimization so to optimize this we create a value to index map to efficiently find the post order index so the values of post order we store it in a map so h is mapped to zero location l is mapped to first d to second p to three c to four z to five and a to six so this is a value to index map in which we have stored the values with the corresponding indices of the post order traversal now in this step where we have to search the value of pre order pre index in the post order traversal we can simply refer to this map so if we have to find the index for z we can simply check this map and return the index 5. So now this search step time complexity is reduced to order of 1. So by doing this optimization, the entire algorithm time is reduced to order of n. So the time complexity we have reduced from order of n square to order of n by creating this value to index map. Now once you've understood this, let's have a look at the implementation. So all the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, I have these two arrays, pre-order and post-order in which I'm storing the traversal. Then I create a value to index map for the post-order traversal. So in this post-order map, I'm storing the post-order values with their indices. Then I have this construct function in which I pass the pre-order array, post-order map, a variable pre-index and the starting and the last variable for the post order array in this construct function i check a start is greater than end then i return null then i create a new tree node with the pre-index value of the pre-order array i increment the pre-index then i check for the leaf nodes if start is equal to end i return the node then i search the value of pre-order pre-index in the post order map i get that index and i use that for the left and the right constructor call for the left call, I call this constructor function with the post start and the post index. And for the right, I call it for the post index plus one and the post end minus one. At the end, I return the node. In the main function, I use this node to print the pre order and the post order traversal. So it is to check that a unique tree has been constructed. Now let's have a look at the output. So a full binary tree has been constructed. And the pre-order is ADHLZPC and the post-order is HLDPCZA. So these match to what was initially given to us. So it is a unique full binary tree. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.